What is Apple Display? <laughs> I think that Apple should make their own display, like a TV, like a set-top box. That would make my life complete. Because right now, I have a Samsung TV, and it's the best that you could buy right now. QLED Samsung TV. And it would make my life a lot easier, and people, other people's lives that are in the ecosystem, Apple ecosystem, even better. But with Apple TV, already being the name for their set-top box. It only makes sense that Apple calls the name, if they make a TV, Apple Display. And no, it would not be no OLED TV or OLED display. This will be a micro LED display. Now hear me out for a second, okay? Apple could manufacture one of these is because they have a secret manufacturing warehouse that they are testing micro LED for their app upcoming Apple Watches. Now, I don't know which Apple Watch this could be for, but it's for a future Apple Watch that they have a patent out for. So they could use this technology to make their own TVs. The problem is, is that people only upgrade one every seven to 10 years. That is, that's not a good money maker. And plus it wouldn't make sense because Samsung has a monopoly right now on manufacturing OLED displays. Cause they do with the iPhones and they charge $200 per display for the iPhone. That's why they started a thousand dollars now. Cause they had to pay that Samsung tax. And if Apple would choose Samsung for an OLED display for an actual TV, they would charge like a half a grand for each screen. So that would mean that it would cost you thousands of dollars for an Apple display. That would be ridiculous. Which LG makes a small portion of the iPhone 10 series displays. But if you saw their displays from the Pixel, they have weird like shadowing colors and tints that shouldn't be there. Crazy burnings. That don't happen with Samsung displays, you know? I don't like Samsung, but their TV technology or display technology is really good. So if Apple would make a TV set-top box, it would definitely be micro LED. The TVs are way brighter than OLED, and plus they don't get no burnings. That is way more superior than any OLED display. For instance, why I think Apple would make a really good TV is because of their HomePod. Their HomePod has the best sound that you can buy right now. And, and you don't mess with it in Equalizer how the way it sounds. Like Apple made the sound perfect and you don't have to change it because it's that damn perfect and you can't change it. Why would you want to? I would think that the Apple display would be the same thing, that the TV comes and you just turn it on and you have the most superior 4K or 8K picture and you don't have to mess in settings. When I get a new TV, I always have to mess it in settings every time. And then when I go to other people's houses that have the same TV, they have, their TVs look like dog shit because they don't have to, change the settings like I do. I think Apple would make a perfect TV. But the problem, like I said, is that they upgrade once every seven to 10 years. I upgrade my TV at least every two years, at least. So would it really make sense for Apple to make an Apple display? What would they call it? I think they would call it Apple display. I mean, Tim Cook did take some of my answers. I write them on Twitter all the time. Years and years ago, I remember I told him to um, do Retina ID. I tweeted him that, do Retina ID. And years down the road, they called it Face ID, which Face ID makes more sense because your retinas can only do so much. With your face, it knows every pore in your skin. It knows every wrinkle on your face. It knows every scar. It could tell the future iPhones are going to have Face ID to where 
It can look at your veins for your evil twin. Can't unlock your phone. We will just have to see if Apple Display will make it to Apple's product lineup. I'm just waiting for it. Come on, Tim, for the love of God, just make the Apple TV display. Thank you. Organic Apple, out.